What is good, my peoples? It's Kobe2408. We finally get to see uh, all the York spells. So he gets he's getting a rework, if you didn't know already. Uh, so this is what he looks like. You can see on the screen. Uh, they updated his model. Uh, all his spells are completely different than what they used to be. Uh, it's I think it's really good. It's gonna the gameplay is gonna be a lot better too, and you're probably gonna have a lot more fun. Like the old York, you just cast his like ghouls, and then they just run off and die pretty much. You're mainly casting it to like get health back. That's really it. And he was really auto attack based, but now you you have some spells, as you can see, like these ghouls right here have been like, damn, they look crazy scary. They're definitely spooky as a mug, but yeah, so then you get, in your ultimate, you get this maiden, and she like controls some of these uh, ghouls. It's pretty crazy. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot better for the Yorick players that used to play Yorick. And for the people that like the old York, well, too bad. This I think this one's definitely gonna. You're gonna have a lot more fun playing this one for sure. Uh, so we're gonna check out his spells, go through those very quickly. Uh, and here they are. Let's go. There we go. So here's his spells. We'll go through every one real quick, and then we'll see like some of his, uh, the some of the gameplay. I wish I had a PVE account, but I don't because Riot doesn't want to give me one. I even emailed them and everything. So if you guys have a PVE account that I can use. That would be awesome. I know you're not supposed to, but anyways, that would be sick, so I could, like, make videos, but, uh, yeah, so here's his passive. Um, Shepherd of the Souls. Let's take a look. So, basically, if you didn't see it, like, here's a little minion. It dies, and it creates, like, this, um, almost like a soul on the ground, just like, uh, Thresh's souls. Uh, but you don't collect these souls. Um, you do something with them, obviously. Uh, there's an interaction with them. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know, it's very similar to, uh, if you guys play Han or Dota. I know in Han, the guy's name is Gravekeeper. It's very similar to that, like, like, uh, a minion dies and you can use it to, like, summon something. So that's basically what's happening here. If you can't see, it's right there. Uh, we can watch it real quick again. Here's the minion, it's gonna die. So it looks like it has to be the, uh, it has to be the other team's minions that have to die, and it creates just like this little soul on the ground. So here is his Q, Last Rites and Awakening. There's two interactions with this. The first interaction we'll see here in just a sec. So here's his first interaction. He casts it, he casts the Q, um, and it gives you like bonus attack damage. And then after you, and even after you kill a minion, a soul is created. So you can have up to four. That's the max. So one, two, three, four. There's the max. And then he's gonna recast it, and you'll see what happens there. And his ghosts come up. Sick. God, Jesus, they do so much damage. So let's watch it all the way through one time, real quick. And as you can see. He has to recast it. So there's two interactions with this Q. That's pretty... It's like what Riot is going for these days. Like, multiple interactions with, um... Same spells. Like, just like, uh, Kled when he came out. So, there's a, a Q ability when he's on top of his mount. And then another Q ability when he's off his mount. If you don't know who Kled is, you just look it up on YouTube. I believe I have a YouTube video on it. Uh, so, yeah. Multiple interactions. Uh, it definitely makes the game not as stale for some some champions, so there's a lot more like uh, I would say a lot more play Maybe a little more counterplay at times so you could uh, You know cast something run away recast your Goals or whatever or when you're initiating or things like that. So uh, here's this W uh, Let's take a look So pretty, pretty basic. I mean, he's just casting a wall. So this is kind of like his escape slash uh, stun type deal interaction. There's always, always one champion. Always all the champions have something similar to this, either like a slow or a stun or like a, like Fizz, you can jump away or you can slow. There's like multiple things you can do. So this is just his like little wall. It's destructible. 
Uh, let's watch it again. Mordekaiser's trying to destroy it, but he, I don't think he does because he doesn't do enough damage to it. So he casts the wall of corpses. And I think he just went away. He was trying to destroy it, but... So that's his W. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I'm liking this York a lot better though. This one, this is sick. Do a lot more with your... With your ghost. Okay, so here's his E. So basically, uh, this is gonna be like his, uh, slow that he applies. Um, so let's check it out. Nice. So, so he applies his E here. So he's applying his E, and then he uses Q to raise his, his ghost. And then they'll just jump at that target. So you're pretty much marking the target is what you're doing here. So let's see it again. He marks the target, as you can see. Marking the target. And he casts his ghouls. Boom, boom, boom. Ghost ghouls, whatever. And they jump at him. So there's like some interaction with uh, his E and the Q. So like your ghouls aren't like just running off and attacking whatever. So you can mark a target and then, you know, cast your ghouls and they'll run off and attack that person and it looks like if if York does attack that person he does magic damage so he has attack damage and magic damage he's both very similar to Jax where Jax has 80 damage and magic damage uh okay so that's his E eulogy of the Isles this is his um this is his ultimate I, I really like this ultimate it's a lot better than the old ultimate where like the old ultimate was you cast it on yourself or cast it on somebody else and if you were to die you transform into that ghost for a time being and you can free cast all your spells uh... this like is made for york i feel like this is where where his bread and butter is alright but, but let's watch this that's crazy so that right there if you didn't see, yeah, Maiden of the Mist is what what they're calling it. I think. Wait, did I get that? Yeah, Maiden of the Mist. So she like, uh, if the ghouls are around the maiden, it doesn't die. Uh, but if the ghouls get too far away from uh, the maiden or uh, Yorick, then they will quickly die off. So as long as your little ghost things are close to you, or this uh, ultimate Maiden of the Mist, uh, they won't die. Um, but let's take a look at it again. Cast it. This is definitely the best part of York now. It hits so hard. Holy shit. Like that life drain. Oh my god. That's kind of ridiculous. Damn, that is going to be so sick. So it looks like, according to this, it's attacking maybe the closest target. So you can't really control who she attacks. She just starts attacking somebody. Which I think kind of sucks. Because, uh, you want to at least be able to, uh, you know, control where she, who she attacks. But, but it looks like that ultimate does so much damage. Holy hell. That's kind of crazy. But that's your, look at some gameplay real quick. See how it looks. Oh damn, there's Ribbon. Holy jeez, that Q damage, there's so much damage. Holy hell, if you didn't see it, he like Q'd her. Like right around here. That's where he gets his bonus attack damage. Boom! That's basically what it is now. Uh, but there's another interaction with that Q. You can raise, like, uh, your ghouls from the ground. Uh, but that's the gameplay for that. Let's take a look at this one. Real quick. So there's, like... The, there's the soul on the ground. There's two souls, three souls. So he raises them with his Q. 
And now he ulties. Wait, and the ulti can attack the tower? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No way. Wow. That's crazy. That's gonna help Yorick push towers very quickly. Oh shit, she stays up for so long too. I feel like that's gonna get nerfed for sure. That's just, that is insane. Like, this is insane. She just, he casts his ultimate and like the, the maiden attacks the tower. What? Crazy. Look at how we, look at, it's just draining his life. Oh my goodness. It is so much damage. Oh, I can't wait to play this guy. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much fun. Oh. He's probably coming out very shortly here. So here he is. Here's the rework. This is what he looks like. I think one thing that I really like about this is his uh, Undertaker skin. Oh, geez. Look at that. You guys see that? Yeah, there we go. Can't fit it on the screen, but here, let's see. There we go. That's so sick. Look at that. And then he's like pushing some guy's soul down. Or he's pushing some guy down and like his cape is engulfing him. It almost looks like he's gonna like rip his soul out, but that's so crazy. And then a tombstone on his back. That skin is definitely sick. And then here's the rework skin. And there's his uh, ghouls, you can say, ghosts or whatever. But sick, sick, sick. Awesome. But that's the rework. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick look at Yorick and what he's gonna do. But as always, I'm Kobe248. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share. And always like, thumbs up, appreciate it. We're almost to 200 subscribers. It's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys and girls. And anybody who watches it, much appreciated. And I'm out. Peace.